Good evening, everyone. From New York, I'm Ayman Mohideen in for Chris Hayes. We have new developments tonight in the investigation into the insurrection on January the 6th, as this portion of the House Committee's investigation nears a close. In fact, today the committee formally announced that they will hold their eighth hearing next Thursday. It will be once again in prime time. According to Chairman Benny Thompson, it will be the final hearing at least for now, but Chairman Thompson would not rule out holding more hearings later in the summer if the committee receives new evidence. And we are expecting at least one more public hearing in the fall, sometime before the midterm elections, when the committee issues its final report on Donald Trump's efforts to incite an insurrection at the Capitol. And today, committee members conducted yet another key interview with former Overstock CEO Patrick Byrne, now, you may remember him from White House counsel Pat Cipollone's testimony that we heard at the last hearing. In fact, Cipollone told the committee about finding Byrne, along with big lie promoters like Sidney Powell and Mike Flynn, having an unscheduled meeting in the Oval Office alone with Donald Trump. I opened the door and I walked in. I saw General Flynn. I saw Sidney Powell sitting there. I was not happy to see the people who were in the Oval Office. Explain why. Well, again, I, I don't think they were providing. Well, first of all, the overstock person, I, I never, never, never knew who this guy was. Actually, the first thing I did, I walked in, I looked at him, and I said, who are you? And he told me. I don't think, I don't think any of these people were providing the president with good advice. Uh, and... So I, I, I didn't understand how they had gotten in. That is a great question. Who is the Overstock person, Patrick Byrne? He is a successful businessman who launched Overstock.com back in 1999, and he led the internet retailing company for almost, for almost two decades. And during that time, uh, Byrne became known for supporting elaborate conspiracy theories. In 2005, he claimed that a competitor he referred to as a Star Wars villain was trying to ruin Overstock. And then in 2019, he resigned as CEO after disclosing his three-year affair with none other than Russian spy Maria Butina. Byrne issued this company press release referencing the deep state and claiming he, quote, helped the men in black, his nickname for FBI agents. Now, with all that newfound free time, Byrne started promoting more conspiracies, and after the pandemic began, as you can imagine, he toured the country spreading lies about COVID vaccines. And then came the election. And following it, 2020, in 2020, he began pushing Donald Trump's big lie about election fraud. He financed a movie and wrote a self-published book about the bogus claims. And the former CEO of Overstock peddled those conspiracy theories on right-wing TV. This is what he was up to the day before that now infamous unhinged Oval Office meeting on December 18. For about a decade, our national uh, security folks have been wondering, wh why are the Chinese referring to a coming assassin's maze, a one-stroke way of taking out the United States? And the truth is there are fingerprints on this going all, certainly Venezuela and Cuba, but also the trail goes back to Iran, Pakistani intelligence, and China. Their assassin's maze turns out not to be a missile. It turns out to be destroy our election system to take us down. What? That doesn't even make sense. I mean, that is the kind of conspiracy mongering that punches your ticket onto Team Coup. And the night before Donald Trump's mob would interrupt the peaceful transfer of power, Patrick Byrne took to the stage at the Stop the Steal pre-rally, along with pro-coup characters like Michael Flynn and Roger Stone, and the Overstock guy seem to have a pretty good sense for what might be coming. We have a lot of hope for tomorrow. There's a lot of ways this can go. And I want to tell you, you may have heard about a fairly raucous meeting in an office over there a couple of weeks ago. The president has far more power than people understand. There are laws on the books and executive orders that go back that let the president just say this, that there was foreign and clear foreign interference in this election, and we have to, we have all kinds of remedies. So you can see why Patrick Byrne's account of that crazy meeting on December 18th with Michael Flynn and Sidney Powell and White House counsel Pat Cipollone 
would be of interest to the January 6th committee in its investigation. And when he arrived for his interview with the committee today, reporters were interested to know if the Overstock guy has also spoken to the Department of Justice. Have you spoken to the FBI? Oh, I, it's kind of a broad question in the context of my life. Now, luckily, NBC News producer Julia Jester followed Byrne into the building and fine-tuned that question, getting a much less playful response. Have you been in contact with the FBI about the January 6th investigation? Uh, or the DOJ? Uh, no 